okay so at this point nobody will get to know whether you have located one fourth correctly or not maybe do you have the understanding of this or not not even this unless you have unless you clear up one unit of your number line means now it's clear because everyone is well aware of whole numbers integers but if you have to show your understanding you must show one unit of your line half can be understood if one is there one fourth can be understood if one is there so if we have to locate sorry there is bit mistake you make just proper equal units so this is 1/4 this is 2/4 3/4 and this is your 4/4 means full one so if you do it like this then it would be more clear in fact if we show you one more unit this is your one unit if you'll show one more unit of your line like this your presentation your visuals your understanding becomes more clear this is one unit this is one unit and this is 1/4 okay so while locating fractions on number line one unit of number line should be clear as fractions becomes more clear with perspective of one unit i have explained you before now here are the number lines how will you just doing once again for the half okay if i have to locate half Oh, sorry. So let's label this as half. This as one, and then this is r minus one. In fact, we have space, so we can show one more unit. This is R two. Similarly, for showing one fourth, one two three fourth. Then you can say this is my one fourth. If this is my one unit, in fact. we can sh show one more unit of our number line and we can say this is r minus 1 you may extend your number line later or you may you may not put the arrows before so this is how you have to locate means if there are fractions or decimals we being common man have a proper understanding proper understanding of one unit to locate your fraction and decimals make sure the boundary the one unit should be clear if you are locating 1/4 then it should be 0 and 1 should be there if you are locating uh, suppose 3 full 3 full 3/4 then 3 and 4 should be there on your number line now let's see how to locate 3.461 on number line objective is again the same to show our understanding of numbers okay if it would be 3.4 then you all know it it's between 3 and 4 no and i suppose it's easy to do because 3.4 you just have to make 10 parts between 3 and 4 but this number is 3.461 So are we going to are we going to make thousand parts between three and four? This is little tedious, and we 
we actually the our objective is not to go through this lengthy procedure means this is possible but it's feasible it's not feasible uh, sorry feasible also but doing such a work is worthless means why to do it why to make you people go through this extra thing moreover the objective of the study is to show our understanding of the numbers okay so we must have so we must develop some other technique for this mean some other way for this okay i'm showing going, i'm going to share that so if you have to locate 3.461 on the number line first we'll make our norm, normal number line like this okay so this is our normal number line now we know i suppose we know 3.461 it's a number it's three full and some part okay three full and fourth is not full it's 461 parts out of 1000 so obviously it's three full and something so it's li it lies between 3 and 4 okay means if we have to locate this number we have to magnify this area means we have to go inside this okay so while showing this to the exam by showing your understanding of the number you can put a magnifying glass like this now this magnifying glass okay it is between 3 and 4 because which area you are going to magnify you have to strictly put this magnifying glass there only okay now if we'll open it now we we are showing we are expanding we are focusing on this okay so when we focus on this what are we going to do we'll focus on this we'll open this we'll expand this and we'll do 10 parts in this okay this is one unit this is also one unit this is also one unit each one is one unit if one unit is divided into 10 parts then each part will be 0.1 okay so 3 and 4 if we divide this into 10 parts okay we'll have if we have 10 parts so each part is going to be 0.1 so the first marking is going to be 3.1 then the second part second is again 0.1 more than this so 3.2 this is what we are going to do here okay so here we can see this what did we do we magnified this to show that we have magnified this you may put a scale like this and we can show the limits that this has been extended to this point okay you need to put a scale for this so here i have shown that this magnifying area now 3 became this and 4 became this because we magnified it and in between we made 10 equal parts 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 9 and this is the 10th one okay now we'll magnify again we have to see where does this lie 3.461 here because we know 3.46 in 61 is somewhere within 3 and 4 okay and as our system this decimal system based on 10 that's why we are doing 10 parts of it now where does it lie right now here somewhere so this 3.461 lies between 3.4 and 3.5 not here because right now we are focusing till the 10th place so 3.4 3.46 okay 3.46 is less than 3.5 i suppose you know this okay 3.4 and 3.46 so this number is less than 3. Five. No. Okay. So this lies between three point four and so we'll magnify this area now. Okay. And we'll further do ten parts here. Okay. What is this? What is the width of this? This is point one, three point four and three point five. This is point one. So now we'll divide point one. Into ten parts further, so you know 
this is gonna be one hundredth part this is gonna be one hundredth part so let's come here so we'll divide this into ten parts so first we'll magnify we make one more number line and we'll magnify this area so we so this is 3.4 and this is 3.5 and we did 10 parts of it and I, as I explained earlier this one part is 1 100th because 0.1 is divided into 10 parts so this from here to here it is 0.1 so this is 100th okay so 100th means 0 0.01 100th mean 100th means 0 0.01 so from 3.4 if we go 0 0.01 ahead then we'll reach 3.41 therefore this is 3.41 and this is 0 0.01 further ahead 3.42 and this is 3.43 and if we'll do like this we'll reach here now don't forget to show that we have magnified this and this boundary has become this and this how will we do that by drawing the lines like this now we have to look at 3.461 so we have to go again inside so 3.461 3.461 is greater than this and less than this okay okay because here you have got 3 full 4 tenth 6 hundredth and 1 thousandth okay and here you have got 3 3 full you can say 470 thousandth and this is 461 thousandth so obviously this is less than this now we'll magnify this area and further we'll do 10 parts of it what portion is this this is 0 0.01 the same procedure if 0 0.01 is further divided into 10 parts then our metric system is based on 10 that's why we are doing it so this will become 1 over 10 this is this 10 and we know this is 100th so two decimal places so 100 and this is 1000th 1000th means 0 0.001 so we'll magnifying this area we divide 10 parts and each sub part is gonna be 0 0.001 0 0.001 0 0.001 so three point four six point zero zero one is gonna be three point four six one then point zero zero one three point four six two and so on till three point four six nine and this is three point four seven or you may call it three point four seven zero then you will have this understanding and this is three point four six zero and now I suppose we have located our number we were asked to locate 3.461 and we have located 3.461 and here you will highlight it by A or or like this and that is your final this is how you will locate 3.461 now if somebody asks you to locate 3.461 it's so this is never ending process because this is equals to 3.461 61 61 61 means once you'll reach here then you have to further go in between this because this number is less than 3.462 no okay so you'll go here we'll do 10 pieces and you'll go further inside and inside the number line and it's it's tough to locate them so there are two ways for them it's not so that we cannot locate it we can locate it because it's a recurring decimal we can convert it into fraction we know how to convert it okay the vulgar fraction technique which we learnt in the day one module we can do it okay so but but this year how somebody is asking you to convert them into um, 
sorry, uh, locating him on the number line. They'll ask you this question. Locate 3.461. Uh, um, the question is not so means they'll ask you locate 3.4 dot up to three decimal places means they'll ask you to move locate this and this can be done till because they have limited you up to or they can ask you till till three decimal places okay so the same technique is to be followed that's all for today. Bye.